Yeah, hello to more people. So many people. Someone use the hello command. Das Auto. Let's play Das Auto. Das Auto gifted subs of previous stream and the stream before that. I think we've played, we played once, which I vaguely remember the game. Oh yeah, the G4 mate, that was nice. I'll play, um, I'll play E4. I'll try and play aggressively. Oh, I know what opening I want to play. Let, let's see if it actually comes to, to, comes to life. Yeah. What My is this garbage? Streamer. Great content. Imros and T, Imros and mm. T, Imros and T. Yeah. Anyone know what opening this is? There should be at least a few people. This is my first time ever, at least on stream, playing this, um, <laughs> this, uh, Jerome Gambit. I think it, it went slightly viral recently. There was a chess pro video. There were, there was a lot of memes all over the place. A lot of people in the chat requesting the the Jerome Gambit. Ooh, the Counter Gambit. Is this... I feel like this is maybe a novelty. This is a free knight. Opponent gambiting back. One year. Thanks for all the hey. fun chess content. Emblem. Was I supposed to play Queen H5? Ooh. I, I'm, I'm very new to this opening, so f please forgive me if I mess up. But that's how you learn. Okay, so I'm I'm losing a pawn. I'm gonna lose the e4 pawn. But I should save my queen. And queen f4 blunders a queen. Queen f5 doesn't seem right. It's really just a question where the queen should go. Queen g3, there's knight takes e4. Maybe queen a5. Seems weird. There's also queen g5, which is kind of interesting. Maybe queen g5. Kind of a question of, of which king is is less safe. Oh man, people in the chat saying saying I misplayed it. I I, I guess I, I wasn't aware to play Queen H5. I just assumed I, I could win back the piece, but okay. Well we'll take I'll analyze afterwards. This, this is a whole kind of learning experience. Uh, maybe F3. Always play f3. And I probably want to put the king on f2. I think a lot of players would castle, but the king is probably just more useful in the center. I could start with knight, uh, knight c3. Let's start with king f2. Not entirely sure how I want to develop the queen side. And I played king f2, assuming that at some point rook e8 will come, so I know my king wants to be here. Uh, let's play knight c3. I think the idea is bishop g5. And this is a very, um, very quiet Jerome gambit. Like we just, like I tried to gambit, I misplayed it, opponent gave me back a piece, and now it's a, it's a queenless middle game. I kind of gambited a pawn there, but then I would have had some open file action. Okay, so let's take, and balance things a little bit. Tagi, welcome back. How's it going, Tagi? See the Tagi emotes. Along with the Tagi username. Um, yeah, ideally I would not want to play rook c1 because it's kind of passive. g4, bishop takes c2, rook c1. Let's play knight d5. Just hitting the pawn. If c6, then probably knight e3. Attack and defend. Did it freeze? Uh-oh. Oh no, I'm so sorry if it froze. Um, but it's back. Yeah, sometimes a frozen Rosen will make unwanted appearances. Or maybe it's Twitch's fault. Well, it's probably my fault. I'll take responsibility. Mm. Ooh, wait, what? Oh, this is 3-0? Ah! I was so encapsulated with the chat and the fact that I'm playing the Jerome, I forgot. So I, I basically gambit in my time. That's not good. Let's play a3, yeah. 
It's a nice uh, little pre-move there. Okay, so pre-move time. Hmm. Ah, good move. Ooh! That's not good. This is really bad now. This is really bad. I'm down a piece. Thankfully, this is casual blitz. Oh, I gambited too many things. Okay, F4 coming, maybe? F4 is coming. Ooh, opponent one connect four. But I have some pawns. Ah. Okay, let's see how my opponent's endgame technique will be. That's pretty I good. I just woke up, did look at my phone to see the clock, did see Rosen stream and got here on. Oof. Min 2. Oof. I was not expecting King G6. I'm, I'm in big trouble if you're just joining. I'm in very big trouble. I need I need to pull out some some tricks of some sort, but I don't like my chances. Yes, Rosen trap. That's kind of right. I mean, a three wasn't pre moved. Also, I was flagging. What a game! <laughs> Opponent stalemated. I think, yeah, a three definitely was not pre moved. <laughs> That's why you never give up, kids. Jerome Gambit, Stalemate Trap. I gambited way too many things that game. I think that's YouTube-worthy, though. That's probably YouTube-worthy. Just for YouTube people, too. I should really learn some, some opening theory. So this is cutting edge. Even though some people, maybe many people by now, know it. So apparently queen h5. Wait, <laughs> Stockfish just says white's losing. d4 is the best move. When am I supposed to play queen h5? Oh, queen h5 check. Ah. Interesting. Wow, king e6, f4. Okay, I'll, I'll play this next. Uh, next time, if, if I ever decide to play this opening again. So it, it does look interesting. If king e6 is a main line, then there's probably some some sort of compensation. I don't know. Anyway, YouTube people, hope you enjoyed that. Um, you can say hi to the Twitch people. Hopefully the lag wasn't too bad. But um, yeah, say hi to the, the Twitch chat. Ooh, what did I just do? I did something. What did I do? There we go. Wait, where's the Twitch chat? There's a Twitch chat. Okay, um, say hi and, oh, thanks so much, AKD707. Thank you to Bean Counter-Strike. And uh, say hi to Tagi too. Tagi's somewhere, somewhere lurking. Okay. <laughs>